Sorry about that. Is that what I was saying, Shirley? What? What I was saying, Shirley? What were you saying? <laughs> you were saying if it's really dark, it's critical. That's right. Thank you. I sound like Tony Cimino. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know him, probably. But if it's really dark, it's probably critical. And you have to look at different zones and stuff like that to see if it related. Because if the Kabbalah could be the sexual organ, but probably is not the sexual organ, it could be the organ next to it that is causing that kind of problem in that sexual organ. That's an example. For example, it could be the heart, part of the heart, but it could be the organs around the heart. So just always ask the person. And what I was going to is that, you know, you have to start working together with the medical field. I mean, if you are aware of something that might be going Talk to a doctor, talk to your family protection and tell them, hey, or tell her to do it, or him. Go and try to get a lab test. Try to work together with the doctor. And you know something? You're giving them referrals. So they want, in one way and another, what they're going to do, they're going to try to give referrals to you because they feel that they have to. You know, it's a give and give situation. So that's one of the that's one of the big points, okay? One of the uh, one of the big points that we have to look. The other ones, <clears throat> for example, <clears throat> there's another one that is like sort of open leaf, and you can see this all around the iris sometimes, and it, and if it's only in one spot. For example, uh, the spine or whatever is around here, the lungs or whatever, and you don't have all that, that means that that spot, particularly that open spot, is accumulating sodium. Okay? So you have to give them a good recommendation of probably what, how the, the intake of that sodium is affecting that body. Now, if you have some young girls from high school, university, or things like that, you're probably going to see they call the chain of sodium. You're not going to see it only one place. You're going to see it all around the iris, and it's opening up. And probably that person, most of the time, it could be adults also, what's happening is they're having too much sodium, too much Doritos, too much, uh, too much cheese, too much dairy, uh, I mean, you name it. And it's accumulating and affecting all their bodies. So... Uh, that's a good one to learn. Uh, another one you know when some guys try to strip their t-shirt sort of a Hulk Hogan syndrome okay <clears throat> if somebody had an operation of some, some sort of kind, it will show that way in any organ. And that means that it's gone. That organ is probably gone, but it's, it's replacing the cells in that area. Okay? Oh, you got this down. Okay, I'm just going to erase it because I need more, uh, more space here. The first time I, s I see this kind of uh, spots, uh, most of the teachers who taught me this didn't know what the hell it was. So I started to look in the Internet and started to study a little bit more. There's another thing that you probably could see in people who have cancer or AIDS or have low immune system, and it's little small dots around here. And if you see the iris, that you have the map of the iris. You can see that. It's called the rosary. The rosary. Now, if you see, like, for example, the first time I saw this was uh, like, uh, like in 2000 or 1990-something. In one of the conferences, there was a lady who was giving a workshop about body work, and she told me, you do the iris and I'll give you my book. <laughs> she 
she was so cute, so I, I try to do it. And I saw this. Most of the time you see this in elderly people and old people. If you go to uh, a home care or something like that, you're going to see that. If you see in the map, that means that it's related with the skin and the lymphatic system. So most of the people that are old have that or people that are not having that kind of a problem. Now, if they're recuperating, if they're giving follow-up of the recommendation that you're giving, you'll see that they, instead of having that little little spot, it start turning into a, a point. And that means that they're giving follow-up to their recommendation. They're improving their health. Okay? And, uh, and I notice it doesn't have to mean that... Uh, you are skinny or fat or whatever. It's, it's going to show in your iris. Yes, Shirley? Um, I had a friend who had, was born with freckles, and her eyes were freckled. Okay. When, there are, when they have freckles, it's, you're not going to be able to see through that spot. It's going to be something very superficial. <coughs> Sometimes. But it's... Um, it's going to be very superficial. It's, uh, if you don't mind, I had uh, the, her daughter. Everybody saw me. He had a lot, a couple of freckles in her eyes, and you could confuse that. You have, well, you have to have the experience, but it could be confusing. Only you, are, you're going to pay attention <clears throat> to the part that you could probably see through, like if you use a, like a contact lens. That's the only part you have to pay attention. The other thing is just freckles, and you forget about it. So that's something that is with the picture, with their heritage. Okay, so we went to the rosary. <clears throat> we went to the rosary. Uh, okay, the one that uh, surely this discover on me are the the nerve rings. Okay, and that's the clearer clearer part of the iris. You're going to see like little little rings or little uh, signs like this. Probably the, the, back, the background is brown and the other one is like light brown. Okay. But how I use this is, for example, I'll pay attention if, for example, if it's in the spine and it has like a double, a double line. If it has a double line, that means that that organ... It's having a lot of stress, or it's having a lot of problem, or all the energy is being absorbed through that part of the body. Okay? And I had this challenge once because I did a seminar for the university, <clears throat> and there was a psychologist there, and he didn't believe this. You know, medical doctors, all that stuff, sometimes you just go in the back and then did the last time, the last person wants to come up to see their iris. I had this guy, <clears throat> and I also had this doctor that had the, the nervic, the nervous sign, but just all the way through, like it was a second eye. So I didn't know he was a psychologist. He told me when we finished talking, well, this was free. Yeah, it was free. It was paid by, by a pharmacy uh, division. But when I saw all this nerve, the nerve lines, just like that, I told me, you had to be going through a lot of stress, or you have to be having some kind of nerve problems. They don't know who the hell he was. He used to work uh, together with us, but, you know, he was one of those big-time professors on psychology and used to go all around. And I, he told me, just like you have an intuition, Shirley, he said, I have to say it. Forget about whatever comes. And you have to be going through some kind of depression. And the guy tells me, he stopped, the, he stopped the clock there. He said, you know something? I've been under medication for depression since I was 15 years old. And he was 70-something, 70-something old. So I just hit it on a button. And he, he wanted to learn privately about iridology and how to use it. But sometimes you have that really gut feeling that he has something, 
and you see everything is just right there, a label. If it was something from a family, you know, probably it would go all the way around just one time on the nerve rings. But this was really shocking for me. Um, like I told you, if, uh, if it's a couple of times in some part, um, some zone of the iris, that part of the body is having problems, having nerve problems. Sometimes it's just, uh, uh, it could be the neck, it could be the spine, and, and just, uh, just explain it to the person, or just what doctors tell, uh, sometimes tells you, you have somebody who has diabetic, right, or has something related with the nerves, you know, just try to go like general if you don't want to get in trouble. Now, there's a lot of people who do iridology. They try to pinpoint, this is it, without getting confirmation from lab. Buddy, that is wrong. That is really wrong. There are a lot of people in the medical field, they do a batteries of lab just to know if you have cancer. I mean, why are you not able to just do this or refer them to another doctor? You know, I think it's very interesting.